In the heart of every home recording studio is a vocal mic. Many of us started our home studios because we wanted to record our own music and we had a desire to capture powerful vocals like we've heard on some of our favorite songs. In the past, XLR mics have been the standard across the board, but in recent years, there's been a new kid in town and that is the USB microphone. So for your first studio microphone, should you choose a USB mic or an XLR mic? Let's discuss. If you're just getting started with this home studio stuff and searching for a microphone, you're probably finding so many different types and prices for what basically seems like the same piece of gear. Maybe you're just wanting to test the waters to try recording your music for the first time, and you don't want to invest a ton of money to get started. Or maybe you just want an easy, portable recording solution to capture your music on the road or wherever inspiration strikes. If that sounds like where you're currently at, consider getting a USB microphone. So why choose a USB microphone? Well, for one, they're easy to use. A USB microphone is a hassle-free way to get started in the world of recording music. They don't require any additional equipment, and they're great for recording music, podcasts, interviews, or whatever else you want to throw at it. Although these mics are sometimes looked at as entry-level type gear, the truth is USB mics are made up of the same components as XLR mics. The main difference is that they also include an onboard preamp and a converter that changes the signal from analog to digital. With the inclusion of this preamp and converter, you don't have to have any type of audio interface or mixer, you just plug one single cable into your computer, select it as the input source within your audio settings, and you're ready to go. Also, USB mics typically have a built-in headphone jack, which means that hearing yourself through a pair of headphones is as simple as plugging them in. That makes for fewer cables, less gear, and a simpler way to get started recording your music. Another reason you might choose a USB mic is that they're extremely portable. The portability factor alone is a huge win and has even made USB mics an optimal choice for professionals on the go. Gone are the days of packing an interface, multiple cables, and power supply units to be able to set up your recording rig. You can easily record vocal demos on a tour bus, in a hotel room, or even on the beach if you wanted. So those are the pros, what are the cons? The downside to using a USB mic is that you can only use it with USB. If your recording studio starts to grow or if you purchase an interface or any additional gear, you won't be able to connect that mic to that gear. So what about an XLR microphone? The best thing about XLR microphones is flexibility. If you plan on expanding your home studio at any point, an XLR mic is the way to go. XLR mics typically connect to your computer through an audio interface, which converts the analog signal to digital. They can be used with a standalone mixer, they can be connected to an external preamp, and can even be used in a live setting if you want. Another reason, XLR mics provide less noise and typically have a much cleaner sound. Since USB mics have the preamp and converters built right into the microphone, there could be more circulatory noise from these electronic parts that could be transferred to your recordings. Once you start using any type of compression or raising the volume of the track, the volume of that noise is going to raise up as well. It's still possible to encounter electronic noise when recording with an XLR microphone, but typically the sound is not coming from within the internals of the microphone unless it's damaged in some way. Did I say flexibility? Oh wait, here's more. Another advantage of an XLR mic is that you're not contained to the immediate area of your computer when recording. If you need to run a cable to another room or a vocal booth, you can easily do so without being limited to the 6 to 10 feet of cable that most USB mics provide. You also have the option to connect and record multiple microphones at the same time if your interface allows it. So if you plan on recording drums or even your acoustic guitar and vocals at the same time, you can plug each mic into a separate input on your interface and they'll both be on separate tracks with inside your recording software. So are there any downsides to XLR mics? With XLR mics, the initial investment is more because you have to purchase an audio interface or a mixer to be able to connect it to your computer, but it's definitely worthwhile if you plan to continue recording music. Ultimately, the type of microphone you choose for your home studio is going to be based on your current and future recording needs and your budget, but if you're just starting out, a USB mic is a great option because it's less expensive to get up and running and it's often easier to use. However, if you already have an audio interface or you're planning on putting together a more functional and expandable home recording studio, I recommend going with an XLR mic. Last but not least, if you want a guide that covers some of the best gear options for home studios, you can download the Ultimate Home Studio Gear Guide. This guide has some of my best gear recommendations for every budget, and you can download it absolutely free as my gift to you by going to from zero to studio.com slash gear, and you'll be ahead of the game when it comes to making your next gear purchase. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I'll see you on another video soon.